We're gonna tie what I call the pig sticker. This is a wire worm, a very simple pattern. Um, really only has uh, one um, material that you use and that's a wire. Um, this is an artistic wire. Uh, the artistic wire can be made available online. It is uh, easily available on Amazon and it's a 22 gauge. Um, I use a 22 gauge a heavy wire. Um, some people use uh, a lighter gauge wire. But what I found is if you use a heavier wire, one, it's uh, a heavier fly. Two, it, you don't require a tie-in so you don't ever have to tie in the wire or tie it off at the end and it won't unravel so it's a very simple quick tie like a guide fly uh, scenario where you can just kind of bang them out um, i tie them in three different weights in two different sizes so um, i tie them in a gamakatsu c12u uh, size six in size eight um, the larger hook size six I tie sometimes with a 2.7 millimeter tungsten bead. So the 2.7 millimeter tungsten bead is um, all the more weight that you need because this fly is so thin, um, you really don't need a heavier uh, bead. I've found if I go heavier, then I'm just constantly on the bottom um, hanging up. So um, what you have is this kind of bait style hook very effective with a good uh, sharp point you can get a nice hook set on it there's a couple tricks that i'll show you along the way that um, help you get a better hook hook uh, set and then there's some other things to keep in mind um, the way that i typically fish this fly is in a euro style nymph nymphing rig um, and i use it as my point fly you in a two fly rig i'll have it on the bottom as the point like i mentioned lighter fly up type top off the tag then this fly on the bottom and then if i want to go to uh, deeper water or faster water it's real easy for me to extend my rig so what i'll do is i'll i'll tie in here on this nice big eye has plenty of room um and i'll add another 18 to 24 inches and then usually i'll go with a slightly lighter fly or sometimes a, a, a weightless fly and let that just kind of dangle around and kind of tick around on the bottom um, that can be extremely effective um, like I said, it's a very thin fly, uh, gets down really quick, nothing to kind of keep it from getting down, and uh, extremely effective. So uh, to tie it, it's very easy. Uh, biggest thing you need to take into consideration is from this hook point back to the bend. That's, <clears throat> that's all your hooking um, or penetration right there. So what you want to do is leave a, a nice gap from here to about here about the width of what you would consider the skin of the fish's jaw before you start your wire. That gives you that full hook uh, point to set and uh, get buried into that jawline. So I'll take my artisan wire, basically start it here uh, and start my wraps. They're very uh, easy to do. Um, you just kind of wrap those touching turns. Like I said, it's a quick fly. We're gonna be done here in a second. Um, you wrap that up. Uh, once you get up to the eye of the hook here, there are a few little tricks um, to make sure that this thing doesn't uh, mess up your rig. So we'll get up to the eye, nice and tight. I'll take my uh, flush cut pliers, you can buy these at a craft store, and cut this nice and flush here. And then I'll come back to the back end here and cut it flush there. And you'll see there's two scenarios we got going on here, um, right here. You're gonna have a little bit of a burr action. That could t potentially uh, nick your line. So you wanna take care of that. So I'll use a pair of needle nose pliers uh, or even forceps will work. And I'll basically just grab that and kind of roll over it, make sure that burr is gone there. And same thing here in the back. I'll grab that and squeeze it up nice and tight and roll that over as well make sure there's no burr there and that's it that's your fly pretty straightforward your wire worm like i said um, i tie it in uh, multiple weights here's a another red one um, i've tied with the tungsten bead um, you'll also notice that one of the things that i don't do is put that organ sac on the fly a lot of guys will wrap thread here uh, and then put uv on it 
Um, I haven't found that that it leads to any more effectiveness, so I stopped doing it. Um, you're welcome to do it. Uh, some guys will put UV on there. I've tried both, but I really haven't seen that it's led to any uh, additional uh, uh, hookups, etc. So just kind of stop doing it and get these things out quite quickly. So I tied in red, um, orange, or tangerine, I think it's called, for the, the wire, and then uh, pink. Those are my three primary colors. And then I also tie it in a uh, chartreuse green and a purple at times. Those can be really effective. Um, great fly, like I said, for nymphing. Uh, had luck all over the country with it. Um, it's effective all the time. There's no particular hatch for it, so it's a great uh, searching pattern. All right, stick around. Uh, subscribe if you like and comment. And, um, yeah, we're going to have a high-speed uh, review for you. So uh, thanks again. I'll see you.